Hey guys, Mega Man NG here. Welcome to my playthrough of Hyrule Warriors Legends for the Nintendo 3DS. And this, mind you, isn't easy for me to explain because, guys, I already know all the details on how the 3DS version, if you're playing it on the original 3DS, it won't, like, you'll have, like, a lot of issues. But it doesn't really matter to me, honestly. I'm going to play the game the way it's meant to be. Mm -hmm. And if you also notice, there's a template I'm using for it. Special thanks to YouTuber The Battle Productions for helping me make some, a little bit of modifications to it. And yeah, I'm just right now going through the settings. No, I'm checking it warrior style. And I'm also setting spot pass options. Yeah, that's pretty much the, the traditional stuff. So here's the deal on how I'm going to be doing Hyrule Warriors. I am going to be playing a, oh, what's this? Oh, they added a save data reset function. How nice. That's what the update was for. And they've also added a purchase DLC function. Bear in mind, I am actually going to be getting the season pass for it. For both this and the Wii U Hyrule Warriors. So, I'm going to be spending a lot of money on this because truth be told, I love Hyrule Warriors. Too bad I've never beaten it. And Hyrule Warriors came out for the Wii U in 2014. It was made by Nintendo in a collaboration between them and Koei Tecmo. And there it is, Hyrule Warriors. And yes, this game has amiibo support. If you have any of the Zelda-based amiibo, then you're good to go. So here's the different modes you have. Legend mode, free mode, adventure mode, which can take you probably forever. And there's also a new option called My Fairy, which means you can nurture and raise your own companion fairies so that you can take them with you when you play the game. And I think I'm noticing a frame rate drop. There's also the gallery and the settings. So that's not really much. You also have your game settings, your network settings, controller settings, volume settings, etc. That's your traditional normal stuff. And I'm setting this in normal difficulty. And I'm also setting cinematics. Okay, so now that we got that taken care of, let's get started with Legend Mode. That's Link for you in a nutshell. He's always willing to do what he can to fight. And on the bottom screen, there's like a nice little loading screen. And they show some interesting information, like drop weapons. If you pick up a weapon mid-battle, you'll be able to use that weapon once you've claimed victory in that battle.
And it looks like the battle has already begun. Okay, I've gotten the controls now, so I pretty much get an idea of things. And people say the frame rate in the 3DS version is rather inferior. I wholeheartedly have to disagree. Oh, well, somewhat, but I disagree on that. It's alright, though it could be worse. Nice, we got 50 KOs already. Now we gotta help Impa battle the Dark Forces. And there she is, up ahead. Well, isn't that interesting? Who is this soldier, anyway? Uh, in case you haven't noticed, I'm the guy who's kicking butt. Fairy's in trouble. We gotta help. So your name's Proxy, eh? Name's Link. What's it mean? It can mean a lot of things. And I appreciate the comment on the sword. Alright, makes it easier. Man, a few words, huh? And now we learn on special attacks. Defeating enemies fills the special attack gauge. Press the A button to use up your special attack gauge and perform a powerful special attack. And you can also pick up magic jars to refill your magic gauge. When your magic's full, you can use Focus Spirit. And Zelda, sadly, is in trouble. We gotta help. And I get to admit, the 3DS version isn't as bad as people make it out to be. Though if you're playing it on the new Nintendo 3DS, the frame rate of which is actually a bit more smoother. However, not here, and it's due to the fact of the 3DS's limitations. I don't blame them. I just do not. But will it stop me from enjoying the game? Heck no. Now we gotta head to the abandoned fort. Oh nuts, it's Volga. By pressing the up button or the ZL button on the new Nintendo 3DS and 3DS XL, you can make the camera lock onto a nearby powerful enemy. If left and right is set to camera control and controller settings, pressing that will target an enemy to change that target of the camera. Only new Nintendo 3DS and new Nintendo 3DS XLs allow you to use the C stick while targeting the enemy to change the enemy from being targeted. Targeting is useful when striking an enemy opening or evading a giant enemy's attack. Use it skillfully to gain an advantage. I get you. Yeah, does that hurt Volga? Now our objective is to defeat Volga, and they have like an auto-saving for checkpoints. Enemies sometimes expose weak points during specific attacks. That's what the weak point gauge is for. They'll let them be vulnerable to a counterattack. You need to attack it quickly and brutally to chip away with it. And once that's done, you'll be able to do a weak point smash. Although the thing only lasts like temporarily.
this is a, this is a surprise. Oh, great. Well, Volga ran away. But now we have our work cut out for us. Yeah, this Ling's got the Triforce of Courage. You haven't beaten me. You've only hidden behind your shields, human and otherwise. Is Volga slacking off again? Find! Send out the next unit! Dude, Volga just went up and left. He ain't gonna waste his time. Nice, we also unlocked the way to the abandoned fort. Now we better move it. We can't hold them anymore! Somebody, help! Don't worry, we're on our way! Now we gotta defeat Lizalfos. Ah, oh, great. That base has fallen. Now we gotta do what we can to get it back up again. And I gotta also make a note to get a new Nintendo 3DS, because as much as I enjoy playing it on a regular 3DS, yeah, it has its issues. But I'm only doing this for the sake of the playthrough. Since, truth be told, I want to enjoy the game the way it's meant to be. For better or for worse. And sure, it's not perfect, but at least it is playable. I can't believe IGN had to give it a 4.8 out of 10 if you're playing on a regular 3, like a regular 3DS version. Dude, you got B. Nice, we rescued him. And nice, we also leveled up to level 2. The bottom screen is interesting because it shows you not only the map, but also your nearby allies. And we also unlocked the entrance to the mines. Excellent. Supposed to go up, up, not down. Sure. Well, now we gotta head to the mine. What a treasure is it? Probably an item. Alright, let's check it out. Nuts. There you go. Nice, we got some bombs. Now we can toss them at enemies for a devastating effect. They're also useful for blowing up boulders. And they're useful for other things. Now you can press the R button to use our currently equipped items, such as bombs or a potion. Just our rotten luck. They decided to go and pull this BS. I hear you loud and clear, Impa. Now let's move and engage. Roger that, Zelda. We need to capture the Westfield Keep. And Zelda's now playable. You can tap a warrior space on the touchscreen to change which warrior you're directly controlling. There may be times when the number of warriors you can control increases as the scenarios progress. Okay, I'm gonna have to admit, this is actually pretty interesting for this version. In the Wii U, you don't have that option. Whereas in the 3DS, it's actually more fun. You can now switch between different party members. Now it actually feels like an RPG game. Now let's head down. All while dealing with these clowns. And yes, as you beat up enemies, it increases your KO count. And you get rupees along with it, and you'll use rupees to buy upgrades, level up your character, etc. And this game can take you roughly hours, if not days, if not weeks. Yes, it can take you a rather long time. And there it is. Now let's rendezvous. Bombs away! Alright, good. And how come the way is not open yet? Or does this mean I gotta go around? Yeah, it has to be. And that way's blocked as well. Great, so now what am I supposed to do? Oh, wait. How about we switch? Much better. Now we get to play a Zelda. And they're actually incorporating it. All right, inside. Okay, gotten over 400 so far. And I really
really am liking Zelda. Zelda's like on a re she has a rapier as a main weapon. And she can also use a bow and arrow to deliver a lot of damage. And that gauge on top of her, like the more like she has, she'd be able to use special light based attacks. Like so. Now we gotta deal with the keep, boss. Excellent. Zelda's already caught the Westfield Keep. Excellent. We found the princess. That's the good news. Sauce in the training yard, eh? No, don't mind me, guys. Oh, great, they brought reinforcements. All the more fun. And we also unlocked the Central Keep and the South Ridge Bridge Gate. But we gotta take down all these bad guys. Attack! Destroy! Massacre! Kill the Royal Whelp before I grow impatient! Oh! Now we gotta capture both of them. And I know on the Wii U version, you would get, like, a lot more enemies showing up. Now to use the magic power. These bees keep to us. Someone take the central one. That's what I am doing. Siege keeps to stem the flow of enemy reinforcements. To take a keep, fully reduce its keep meter by defeating enough enemies within the keep. Then, the keep meter can be found below the battlefield map. Once it's empty, the keep boss will appear. Defeat him and the keep's yours. Now unleashing special attack. Not bad. You can't let the castle keep fall. And this is gonna hurt. Yeah, play your part, Imp, but we need all the help we can get. Okay, so that's one keep down, and the north gate is sealed shut. Now we gotta focus on the other one. Oh, a Dinalfos. What? And that's not gonna work for you. Eat this. 700 already. Well done. Alright, we got both keeps captured. That was well done, gotta admit. And now we need to call the Great Fairy. As for you, buzz off. Now, where is the fairy fountain? We need to head there. Down south! And yeah, if you get your hands on the game, you also get your hands on a 3DS theme. As well as a downloadable code which lets you transfer all the characters that are unlocked in the 3DS version, like the 3DS version of Hyrule Warriors, into the Wii U version. But I will say that the 3DS Hyrule Warriors is, like, a bit fun to play. Now we need to follow. Next stop, the Great Fairy Fountain. Hey, guys, buzz off. Nice. Wait one minute. Gold Skull Tellers. There are 180 Gold Skull Tellers hidden around the world. By defeating them and gathering the illustration peaches, we can be rewarded with special bonuses. They only appear within the spider's web on the map once certain battle conditions are, like, fulfilled. They flee after a set amount of time, so you gotta move fast. You can check any information on Gold Skull Tellers hidden on a given battlefield from the select scenario screen. However, some will only appear when using specific warriors or weapons. So that's important, and the re the re prerequisite for it is to get a thou like to defeat a thousand enemies. 
Now I gotta run all the way back up there. You can tell that it's a Skulltula when you hear the sound effect of the uh, clicking. Yeah, you hear that? That's when you know. And it's somewhere around here. Question is where? Come on, I know it's here somewhere. I gotta find it. Or is it... Right there! Nice, we defeated Gold Skull Tulla and collected an illustration piece. Or rather... And now we can play as Impa. That's actually two. I think they made it allow a lot longer. Now we need to defeat the advancing Lazalfos. And they're up north. Not to worry, we'll take care of them. Hey, big boy. Looking for me? I'm right here. Commence attack. Nice, things level up to level three. Though the highest level cap is about over 200. Yeah, eat this, and you're done. There you go. That should take care of the Lazalfos. Nice, we also got a weapon. We also get weapons, we get materials. Give me nuts. Alright, time to clean house. Now we need to reach the fairy fountain. Although truthfully, why do that when you can just skip straight to Zelda and have Zelda do it? I like it how it makes things so much easier. And that way is for some reason blocked. Well, not for long. All right, we arrived. Now, great fairy, hear our plea. Help us out and help us take down the bad guys before it gets really out of hand. Oh, wait, I forgot. You need Link for that. All right, I can speed things up. Yeah, you have to switch between different characters, but I think you need Link in order for this to work. That's fine by me. Move it, move it, move it, move it. Out of way, out of my way, you modeling freaks. And I already know all about the magic gauge using Focus Spirit. Focus Spirit is active, attack and speed is increased. Incoming knockback damage is reduced and defeating a certain number of enemies yields bonuses. And then after that, you can press A to like do a Focus Spirit attack, which exposes their weak points at the same time. Okay, so now let's just make it here. Got another material. Yeah, you need both Link and Zelda. Go figure. Okay, here are plea and help us out here. And but why are you telling her to pull back? We have to keep fighting. All right, she's charged it, now it's ready. Well, they enjoyed that all right. We already used the magic circle. And Zelda's gone. And that was a whole load of KOs. We've done it! The enemy has suffered a devastating hit! 
good. That was good, so I wonder now what's left. They've now gained morale, which in turn, their attack strength is boosted. Each army has a morale level. When morale is high, an army will glow brightly and be stronger. When morale is low, they look darkly shaded and stick. In the process, they're weaker. Really, that's not gonna work. You have a bomb. Or rather, I pierce this. <laughs> this is where it gets interesting. Unleash King Dodongo! Oh, just great. King Dodongo has appeared at the North Square. And we've already defeated 1,500 enemies. Now this means one thing. We've got trouble. Big trouble. And they're now advancing towards the Castle Keep. How did the wizard transport a creature that size to the battlefield so quickly? And I can't just stand there, I gotta beat that thing. And the victory conditions have changed because now we're entering boss mode. To win, we just need to beat King Dodongo. Great bosses possess health and strength far surpassing those of normal foes. Find items that attack the monster's weak points and set yourself up for a weak point smash. Yes, enjoy your time with the king. I have an appointment elsewhere. Well, the Dark Wizard left the battlefield. Wow, you're being real trouble. Let's do what we can to stop it. Provided we can make it through. Nice. And here comes the pain. And it's gonna take as many tries just to drain the ever living snot out of its health. And the central keeps in deep trouble. Wow, that's nasty. And it even spawns fire breath too. That's worse. King Dodongo has broken through the central keep. And it's now heading towards the west field keep. Sure, it may not work, but I'm at least trying. Hey, big boy, try this on for size. That thing, that thing moves slow. I know on the Wii U version, it had to move a lot better than that. Come on. Thank you! I can beat you down. Well, at least that worked. Well, I guess I kind of made it angry. Good. Now let's finish the job. One, two, three... And this is gonna really hurt badly. Ah, nuts, it rose up. Just when I was about to finish it off. No fair! Fine. If I'm gonna have to be, I'll do it like this. Jeez. Seriously, you, sir, are no fun at all. Good, you're done. And King Dodongo has officially kicked the bucket. Well fought, Chus. This is why we never give up. General Impa, terrible news. The enemy wizard has seized the castle. So the beast was just a distraction? Where is Princess Zelda? Is she safe? We, 
We can't find her anywhere. No. What? That's impossible. Force is the harmonious union of power, wisdom, and courage. It has been the object of countless battles between the forces of light and darkness. Each time the Triforce fell into the clutches of evil, Hyrule was plunged into misery. But in every age, a hero, clad in green, would restore peace to the land. During one of these dark times, the legendary hero split the spirit of evil into four fragments, sealing each away to finally break the cycle of destruction. Three of the fragments were scattered across time and space. The final fragment was sealed in a sacred temple built upon holy ground, imprisoned by the blade of evil's bane. Well, at least that was some good exposition. Very good at that. We've collected some rupees, now we can spend on various things at the bazaar. Along with some nifty weapons. Mm-hmm. Not bad. And we also got materials as well. And by collecting pieces and completing illustrations, we can get our hands on rewards. To earn new pieces, we need to defeat Gold Skull Tullus. There are a total of nine illustrations, split into 20 pieces. You can check how many pieces you've gathered for each illustration by going to the Gallery's View illustration section. And we've already got our hands on one piece. Nice. And we also unlocked some new modes. Free mode, adventure mode in the gallery. And we can now battle as Impa. And we also obtained the Giant's Knife. A sword created by the finest Gornsmith you ever live. It slices deep but requires immense strength to wield. Press the strong attack button to quickly dash the enemies. And we also earned the Metal Destructive Force. As well as 100 years ahead. So, yeah, not much of a first episode, isn't there? Or rather, is there? But do not worry, there is more to cover. Rupees and materials acquired during a scenario can be used in the bazaar for a handful of things. Press the R button while on the select scenario screen to access the bazaar. Let's strengthen our warriors first. First, we select the warrior, which in this case, it's Link. And then we head to the badge market. We can craft special badges for our warriors to grant them enhancements. And creating badges for our warriors at the badge market will up improve their battle abilities. These bonuses granted by a badge apply only to the warrior for whom it was crafted. And they require both rupees and specific materials, but the benefits they add can be immensely helpful in battle. Hence why this game can take a very long time to max out everyone. I don't kid. They're divided into three categories, attack, defense, and assist. Let's first select the defense assist badge. These spaces indicate badges that can be crafted. Now let's make a badge with the materials and rupees we've collected. In this case, an empty bottle. And now we can craft an empty bottle one. With it, warriors can use potions during battles. There are other shops that can improve our warriors as well, so let's make sure we check them out. And to finish this up, we can now Hornet Lava, slightly increasing the effect of hearts we get picked up in battle. I don't think there is anything else, mind you. But with Impa, let's get that done. Wait. 
Yeah, they're not that expensive, mind you. So you're gonna need to spend a lot of rupees. And yes, there's like a gauge, like 22%. You need to make sure everything's at 100%. Unfortunately, we don't have any materials as of yet, either for defense nor assisting, which stinks. And the potion and battle, we can restore up to five hearts. So yes, that's it for the first episode. It isn't really much, but it's just to prepare you for what's yet to come. Next time on the next episode of, I believe, The Legend of Zelda, I mean, Hyrule Warriors Legends, we're going to be moving on to the Sheikah Tribesmen. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit the like button. It really does mean a lot to me, and I will see you guys next time. This is Mega Man NG, signing off. Peace out.